Gang stalking refers to a type of harassment where a group of people, referred to as perpetrators or stalkers, engage in a coordinated campaign of surveillance, intimidation, and psychological manipulation against an individual, referred to as a target. This harassment can take many different forms, such as following the target around, making repeated phone calls, sending harassing messages, vandalizing their property, spreading rumors and lies about them, and even physically assaulting them and more. One aspect of gang stalking is the use of smear campaigns against the target. Smear campaigns involve spreading false or exaggerated information about the target in order to damage their reputation and discredit them with the ultimate goal of isolation and whatever other desperate tricks they can manipulate people to participate in. These campaigns can be carried out in a number of ways, such as through social media, anonymous online forums, in-person conversations, and especially via cell phone messaging trees. A lot of this activity begins with and proliferates through loosely organized micro or cell groups. Much like those formed in regions of the world where political unrest and social anarchy are prevalent and persistent. Targeted individuals depending on the communities in which they live, often find there are hotspots of areas within their city, state, etc. where these smear campaigns are more prevalent and aggressive than others. For this content producer, we find that the entities on the east side of town are typically much more committed to creating and generating negative, maligning, and marginalizing slander at a faster pace than most. What does that say about them? There are many factors that may contribute to this. One very plausible reason is that this hot spot, area, or particular part of the community is where the gang stalking and smear campaigns began initially. In other words, there was a single individual or a group of gang stalking entities in that particular area that initiated you into the gang stalking agenda for their own morally corrupt reasons. Another factor that can contribute to a certain geographical area being more troubling and gang stalking infested than another may be its proximity to where you reside as well. This is especially true if the area more ethnically and socially mirrors the targeted individual. The gang stalkers want the people in the targeted individual's vicinity whom they assume they will regularly interact with, based on many factors including ethnicity and social standing, to be the first ones to receive the vicious lies and character assassinating garbage up front and in person. This way the targeting and gang stalking activities are concentrated and have a more devastating and potent effect on the targeted individual's quality of life. There may also be other cities outside of where targeted individuals live that play a significant role in the gang stalking experience as well. A few notable geographical areas include certain cities in the state of Illinois, New York, Florida, and California to name a few. Additionally, there are a number of states in the southern hemisphere of the US where these activities are more present as well. These are all generally large metropolitan areas that seem to play a significant role in the gang stalking experience. The reasoning behind this could be as simple as these cities having an overactive or more robust share of cell groups that participate in or resonate with those who target gang stalked individuals. In many cases, gang stalking and smear campaigns can be initiated or carried out by individuals or groups who have a personal grudge against the target that is meritless and has no basis in reality, other than for those whose emotional stability is in question. In other cases, they may be part of a larger conspiracy or ideological movement, targeting whistleblowers and social activists based on political or religious extremism. The reasons behind the Malay and the mentally malnourished entities who engage in these gang stalking activities can be numerous. Regardless of the reasons, they are the equivalent of a deadly virus that must be eradicated before it eats you alive. 99.9% of the time the malicious allegations have no plausible bearing on the targeted individual's moral character whatsoever. It's just a bunch of garbage thrown to the drama junkies craving their daily fix of instability and chaos. It's just someone's socially crippled idea of a bad joke and that's it. The point of this as well as the other digital offerings produced is to provide as much clarity, understanding, validation of the experience, and awareness of this sick, vicious, and dehumanizing social engineering experiment with the purpose of creating a positive change for humanity as a whole. If anyone watching this video believes that the activity of gang stalking and targeting individuals is harmless and won't affect you or people you care about at some point during your participation, please think again. Gang stalking and targeting of individuals is not a new phenomenon. These smear and fear campaigns are only possible because people allow them to proliferate. It's the equivalent of your innocent child being bullied at school, you know about it, but do nothing. These low vibrational, mindless, and self-serving activities have been around in one form or another since before the first coming of Christ. The difference now is simply the speed at which the character assassinating lies and deception can be disseminated. 
Those of you who willingly choose to participate, covet, and embrace these malignant, marginalized criminals are at a greater risk of having the same devastatingly covet activities infecting your lives than those who are currently being targeted. In other words, these malignant menaces to society chose you to be a part of this circus of insanity because they profiled you as someone who is petty, insecure, and of low moral character. They chose you because they know more about you than you think. Be wise. Demand the little misfits who obviously don't think much of you anyway, to prove themselves worthy of the grief and sorrow they want you to deliver onto innocent people for their own greed and malicious delight. Question their motivations. Why are they really doing this? While you're at it, don't forget to ask respectful, considerate clarifying questions of the targeted individual and strive to be transparent and sincere yourself. Say no to gang stalking and targeting individuals. The reputation, soul, and quality of life you save will ultimately be your own. Bless. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to support our channel.